What's up, guys? Ross here from Consolidata, and I am going to show you guys around how you can create your own custom metrics using our Go High Level integration. So the way that this software works is really easy. You add your data sources in here. It integrates directly with Go, uh, Go High Level. And we're going to go ahead here, and I'm going to show you some cool things you could do with this dash. So we're just going to put GHL dash. And I'm going to go ahead and create this. We will choose Go High Level as my uh, as the source that we're going to pull these in. And then it's going to take us to this editor page. When we get to this editor, we're going to go ahead and choose a chart type. So I'm going to throw in a number chart here. And in this particular demo, let's go ahead and create something for a client here. And I'm going to just put here leads. So I'm going to type uh, leads and I'm going to choose based off of leads that are open out of this pipeline right here. And I'm just going to do the whole pipeline. We're going to put this here. I got to turn off my mock data. And now I'm going to do one here called um, put chat widget leads. So that way we can specify this a little bit more. Name this open and we're going to call this chat widget leads. So now I'm going to drop this in right here. And just for the sake of um, the demo here, let's do one where we can see leads one. So we're going to do result types. Uh, we'll do opportunity status one. And then we're going to choose here this pipeline. And I'm going to go like that. So now we can see the leads that have been one throughout this month time frame. And then we'll do one more here. I'm going to put leads value. And when I do this, I'm going to actually choose this one here, sum of opportunity values that have been one. We'll choose that same pipeline. We're going to throw this like that. Now I want to add a decibel to this. So I'm going to go ahead and do so. So now we've got how many leads came in, chat widget leads, leads one, leads value. But now what if you, for instance, wanted to tie this in with your ad spend? I'm going to actually go back here to this dashboard and I'm going to click on sources and let's go ahead and add in Facebook ad spend. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of fun stuff here. I'm going to take my spend and I'm going to throw this up here like this. And we'll go ahead and put, uh, we'll put Facebook spend. And I'm going to go ahead and add a, a symbol to this, the decibel to it. And now I can do some cool things with this. Now I can go ahead and get an ROI. So let's say I want to see what my net was versus my leads value, et cetera. There's a few things that I can do here. First, what if I want to figure out my cost per acquisition? I'm going to click here on custom sources, and that's pretty darn easy to do. All I need to do is type in my spend here, drag this over, and go back to my go high level, grab my leads one, spend divided by leads one, it's going to give me a real-time cost per acquisition. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now I can just drag this over here, and it's going to give me $76. It's going to be my cost per acquisition here. Go ahead and throw my little decibel on. It's, it's rounding it, but you can see that it's $76. It's actually a feature that's going to get fixed because I don't want it to round it. By like Wednesday, it'll no longer round it. So we'll go ahead here, and I'm actually going to adjust this so that way I can change my CPA like this. And so since we know that our cost per acquisition is $76, we could do a few things. Let's say just for craps and giggles that this customer has a $2,000 a month budget, and we want to be able to um, do some things based off of that. So what I'm going to do is, since I have my cost per acquisition, I'm actually going to drag that over in here because I want to keep this bar up here open. So let's go ahead and drag that over there. And we'll just go like that. And I'm going to take the mappings out of this because I want to use this to create future things. So uh, get them future pacing, thinking about the possibilities in the future. And the way that I'm going to do this is through custom calculations. So first thing off is, let's say that this customer is willing to spend, uh, we'll say $3,000 a month in ad spend. Then here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up this custom calculator. I'm going to type in here $3,000, and I'm going to subtract it from the current ad spend. And this is going to give me how much ad spend is remaining. So I'll put your spend remaining. 
So we're going to go like this, throw that up in here, and now I can see how much ad spend is remaining. So we, we've set that up, structured that that way. Now we want to go do another custom calculation. If we take our custom or our spend remaining and we divide it by our cost per lead, it's going to give us estimated leads remaining. So in order to get my cost per lead here, what I'm going to actually do is I know Facebook is inaccurate by its attribution, but go high level. If the lead came in, then it's a lead. So if it was, if it was added in, so I'm going to go ahead, do my spend by lead and I'm going to do cost per lead. Now, if you have multiple traffic sources coming in, you can specify when you uh, create this, you can specify the source and you could choose Facebook ads. So that way, you know, hey, this is a lead that came from Facebook. So if I know now that my cost per lead is $14, now what I can do is I can also put my estimated deals remaining to close. Because if my cost per acquisition right now was $76, then all I need to do is take my spend remaining Divide that by my cost per acquisition. So spend remaining divided by cost per acquisition deals, uh, estimated sales or deals remaining. Go like that. Drop this in here. And it says 31 deals. So I'm going to go ahead and type in here estimated deals, 31. Now, here's where it could get real fun. Let's say that you know how much a sale is, how, how much they're going to do in sales. Like, let's say that you know every sale is worth uh, 150 bucks. Then you could do this, and you could say uh, estimated revenue, and you could say 150, and you could multiply that by the estimated deals remaining, Hit create, throw that in there. We might change up some of the um, the mappings here. So we'll go like this. I'm going to abbreviate estimated, and I'm going to put like that. And then we'll put a little decibel here. And when I shorten this, then you'll no longer. And actually, we'll do the same thing for estimated deals. We're just going to go like that. So that way, when we open this up, it looks nice and clean. So now you can see how this is structured. So now I want to really quickly make this thing look just a little bit schnazzier. So I'm going to go like, uh, not that. Um, I want to make this just a little bit schnazzier so it doesn't look so stale. So I'll go like this. And if I wanted to, I could drop in like a bar chart. And we could do this based off of um, leads. So let's say that we wanted to take our leads, put that in there, and we're going to change this to by day. And then we can also put in here leads one. And I'm going to go up here into my mappings, and I'm going to change these all out. Actually, I think I just want leads. For the sake of this, sometimes if you got a lot of data rolling in, there we go. We've changed this to it by day. And I'm going to turn this here off. And we're going to just call this chart here whatever we want it to, but I'm going to change it to make it look a little bit nicer. I'll have it match the rest of the chart. And now we have got this custom dash that we can then put into a custom menu link for our Go High Level users. So there you go. As you can see, you'd have a nice little chart here that would give your customers some extra insights uh, and it integrates directly with your Go High Level. Guys, if you'd be interested in getting access to this, just go to consolidated.ai. You could sign up for the beta.